A good fixture layout helps to keep your project organized, and is useful for visualizing your project when you simulate effects. The simplest way to improve your layout is to add a background image. Load the relevant image, and then adjust it to fit your layout. If your image scale is correct, you can resize your background to your image. You can set grid options, as well as background and overlay colors. Fixtures can be manipulated in two ways. Selecting one or many will bring up the fixtures parameters in the lower right window. Here you can change their appearance and other properties. Use Reset to put your fixtures back to their default values. Select the Transform Tools feature from the menu, to adjust the fixtures positioning, alignment, rotation and more. Transform tools make it easy to get your fixtures positioned correctly. Zoom in and out using these buttons, or use keyboard shortcuts, and your scroll wheel. The minimap feature allows you to move around large layouts with ease. Click here to snap to 100%, or scale to fit views. Designer supports multiple layouts, each with their own properties. Click here to close the layout. You can delete, duplicate, or reopen the layout, via the Manage menu. Let's select a couple of fixtures and copy them. When copying a fixture, you have two paste options. Paste, or paste as an instance. Paste simply adds a new fixture to your project. Pasting as an instance clones the copied fixture. This can be useful when creating different views for the same fixtures, for example simulating multiple fixtures all set to the same address. The two circles here show when more than one instance of a fixture exists in your project. You can also paste instances onto a different layout. Let's go back to layout 1. When right clicking on a fixture, you can choose to delete it, or remove it from a layout. If a fixture is not on a layout, no circle is shown. If you want to return a fixture to a layout, simply drag it back. Ferros Designer supports a vast range of fixtures, in many configurations. Simply type to search for a specific fixture, or filter for favorites or recently used fixtures. If you can't find your fixture, access our cloud library and download the fixture profile to your computer from there. This requires your computer to have internet access. If you have fixtures installed in a certain pattern, you can easily create your own fixture template. Select a single pixel fixture as base, and create your pattern, using the range of available layout options. A single fixture template can even span multiple universes, great for larger projects. The template can be found in the templates folder. Faros Designer makes it easy to control a variety of fixture types. Let's add different fixtures on this layout. This template has RGB fixtures, an RGBW tube with multiple pixels, a tunable white, and a single white fixture. Faros can control DALI fixtures too, but as DALI behaves a bit differently, this is covered separately in our dedicated DALI video. For this setup let's add a fountain jet, adjust its size for visibility. and add a moving light fixture too. Now this range of fixtures has been added to the layout, we can see how easy it is to create a scene with them. Just as before, simply select the fixtures you want to control. Hold down Alt if you want to select only a part of multi-element fixtures. The available parameters for each fixture will appear in the color, position, beam, and control tabs. With the moving head selected, you see additional control parameters. I can control intensity and color for all the relevant fixtures. Note that for the fountain fixture, I adjust its height when changing intensity. The temperature slider will adjust the color temperature of the tunable white fixture. Different interfaces are available to precisely select the desired color. You can clear an element from being recorded in a scene, by clicking the minus sign. When working with automated lighting, use the other tabs to set up position, beam, and control. Scenes can be recalled via trigger alone 
therefore you can also add them to a timeline. Color and intensity can always be controlled with presets and manual overrides, regardless of the fixture type. This makes it easy to create a unified show. Regardless of the fixture type, it will need to be patched. In the next video we will show you how.